It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads, Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1966, recorded Thursday, December 14th, 2023. Give me a hand. This episode of the Gizwiz Diggity has a few holiday gift suggestions. I have the next in my crappy corner theme. That's New Year's resolution gadgets. And Diggity has an excuse for the gadget warehouse. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dicky D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology. Frozen rows of USBs. Growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 He's never even heard of chat GPT. Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> I am a chat. <laughs> I have been fooling you for years. What is it? Yeah, we're... We've been hearing about like the convergence. Have you heard of the, or the, um, oh my gosh, what do they call this? The singularity? And when like, no. I don't quite understand it. I've heard of it in books reference that like, it's the moment where technology surpasses like human thought. <laughs> like, oh, well, 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 I think we're there. I, we, before the show we were talking and uh, I had Chad look at a, a new channel coming called 1AI and I scan it for like Dennis and he goes, yeah, it's a news program. <laughs> well, the thing is the entire show, people, everything was created by AI. And because of that, you pick a language and all the hosts can talk in any language you want. They, they gave the reviewers personalities it, and it's bizarre. It is. It is. Uh, it's getting closer and closer every day to, to just the robots taking over. Yeah, uh, yeah. They just got to decide, you know, y'all don't know how to manage yourself. Okay. This is craziness. If my yeah, mission yeah. objective is to save the planet, kill all humans. That's, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully they'll never have a bot that could come down to all level. No, so think, they would never I code that. No, Listen, no. We got I job security they, in our me <laughs> mediocrity. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, I would go, wait, I can't. I that, can't act that stupid. Not even an AI would dedicate cycles to this show. So I think we're okay. We're safe. We're yeah. safe. <laughs> also, there are some I, things, I, though, that I wish AI would solve before yes, all of yeah. human take over, like just eliminate email, okay? Oh, Somebody okay. emails me, I just want the AI to tell me about it. I don't want to open up another compose oh. window in my life. Oh. If you could handle that for like a year or two be before taking over all of humanity, you know, two big thumbs up. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and my complaint is I would like it that when uh, there's a headline that says read more, it would just go to the story. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Not to a thing where the story is buried and then you click on that and it goes to a, 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 it's like wait eight clicks ago you said read the story and i'm not there yet yeah so that drives this me. this might be the end of content honestly if content <laughs> is is zero cost to create you know it an ai can create the perfect you, you are a 45 year old, you know, whatever demographic and you want anime that has a big drama story with like only seven characters and your favorite character has got to be just like this. Well, it'll make that. It'll just make it and it'll make it for cheap. Uh, I oh, hope it I, just made it on uh, my other computer. You're, <laughs> there it ready. is. It's ready. 45 year old. Oh uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> I'll send How you did it know? It's like, is it, are we at the, the death of content and the newest thing is like you know i could see real experiences that's the new thing get get on a boat for once in your life <laughs> you know um it's that's it is gonna be a very strange future yeah. uh, it, it, with this ai stuff very weird very yeah. weird yeah uh, it's crazy uh, on a different note um i tried this didn't work for me do you know about amazon 
and their five dollar Christmas thing. Oh no, I haven't seen this. Yes, uh, they said they did it. This is going to be the third year, and they're doing it. I think up to a million dollars. You can thank the driver who brought you your package, and they will automatically get five dollars. Oh. For oh, each person. Oh. You know, my screen just went black. Oh, uh, I see that. Like, I will work on fixing that. What okay, very on? good. <laughs> and I'll we give need you that screen <laughs> computer. The AI listened, and they're <laughs> they, they they're getting revenge. <laughs> they are letting us know they're not happy. Oh, not no, happy at all. Scooter X, Scooter X, who is on top of things. No wonder it didn't work five minutes ago. Scooter X said, Amazon has already ended the program. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess they got to a million dollars like in eight minutes or something. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that, it, uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. I can notice. I notice that it, it's not fixed. I may, we may have to pause here while I try to okay. troubleshoot this issue. And also, where did all the other screens go? <laughs> I've lost all my windows now. They're on some other. Oh, monitor. okay. There we are. There's that. I need you there. Put that there. Sorry, chat, for the. One of my screens is continuously disconnecting is the issue. Oh, and then okay. It is rearranging everything else. And so you um, lost your Uh okay, I see a Skype screen. Uh Scooter X said, Oh, it was for the first two million thank yous. Uh and started two days ago. And they already reached their already two million, reached two million. And, it's, and it's over. Wow. Those drivers in wow. San Francisco with uh, all the uh, people who are up on the news must be very happy. Because... Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't feel exactly. like uh, that was. This is no, we're not on OBS, Stephen. Uh, 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 one second. Okay. I'm still okay. working on it. This is oh well I'm I am on OBS it's uh but it's not oh you OBS. are oh okay yeah okay. we we do the show on OBS still you just don't have video yet I'm working on okay. that and then I've lost Motron says AI has taken over Chad's computer I'm telling you they they were listening yep mm -hmm. trying to get the webcam back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That. I'm trying to avoid rebooting here. Okay. If I can. Uh, but right now, it's not seeing my camera. Which goes to you. Which goes to you. Mm -mm -mm. Well, everybody's still hearing us. So that's yeah, they good. can hear us. They yep. uh, and they see uh, you. Yeah, you can't see what they see. They see a, a four shot because um, one of my cameras is out. And now, still trying to get your video back. Mm -hmm. So any minute, Dennis is going to come in and go, wait a minute, what going what's on? going on down there? Mm -mm. Uh, I, <laughs> I see a cat, says Stephen. <laughs> there mm. is a cat. There oh, you there you is should, a cat. You oh, should okay. have video back. I'm still working on a few more. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, um, the chat room has video? Yeah. Could, They've been able yeah, to I see don't. us. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Got that camera back. Okay. Got to click the right one. There we are. Okay. Now, oh, I see me on a monitor. I don't see me on my monitor. Yeah, n uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. Perfect. I think we are back in action. Let me write down this time code real fast. Okay. Now, I don't have a video yet. Oh, you still don't? No. Oh, I see what happened. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It was giving me a preview and I needed to... Ah, there we are. <laughs> I needed to say, yes, those are the settings I wanted to change. Okay. Uh, okay, good. I think that's all good. Let me write this down, though, one second. Okay, very good. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Captain Jesus asked the Gizmas for advice. Exactly. <laughs> I hear Chad my, is good with OBS. Let's see if we can call yeah. him. Well, my advice to Chad is to call Josh. <laughs> Get bum, bum. Hey, Magoo. <laughs> you see, you'll never, with uh, AI, you're not going to get this kind of... Exactly. It's going to be flawless. flawless. I think people are really going to appreciate the hard work like this yeah, that goes into exactly, it. exactly, exactly. Thought. <laughs> Actual thought. Uh, and edit out. We're at 20 minutes. Mm-mm. Oh. Okay. Okay. We are good. Scooter, um, Scooter X gave away all his dead batteries free of charge. <laughs> very funny. That's very good. Okay. Okay, so back at it. We were talking about Amazon. Um, I'm just going to hope that we have an edit point in here somewhere. So you're telling okay. me... So Amazon is giving $5 as a tip to anyone who just says thank you to their drivers. Uh, yes, you have to do it through their web or Alexa or the app on your phone. But then Scooter X said, wait, they would do it, I think, giving away $2 million in $5 tips. But it started two days ago and they have already reached... They think too hard, people. Two million dollars, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Man, man oh man. I feel well, like they should have yeah. done a matching program. Is it, You tip and they'll match dollar oh, for okay. dollar. Oh, that'd been, okay. That'd have been Maybe nice. next year. Next yeah, year that, maybe, that maybe another two million dollars will ro roll around. Um, well, now I feel bad. I feel like I should have ordered something in those... That first day and thanked my driver. Oh, I didn't. Know. I I only found out about it today, and I and I went in and did it, and the the, the standard thing came up. Was it great or was it awful? Uh, yeah, I think. It, I wish there were more choices. Like, was it wonderful or was it horrible? How, you know, how about something in between? Like, another another time chat GPT could help out yes. here. Just yes. tell me how your experience went, and I'll tell you. I'll I'll do the thought of if that was yeah. a good experience. There you or not. go. There you go. We should do that. <sighs> the first um, AI operating system is going to be weird. That is where there's no mouse, no keyboard, no nothing, just an AI, and you talk to them, and AI send some mail. AI check the front door. AI, I'd like to place an Amazon order. Um, I mean, maybe, you know. maybe, <laughs> but you know, I was thinking if, if you had a, if you could direct with AI, AI would have to have a way to hear your comments without the audience hearing, you know, like in the control room, you just go, uh, AI, give us a nice close up. AI. Ah, oh, um, you don't, here's, a, here's probably what'll happen is the AI yeah. will be smart enough to not to know to not know yeah it'll it'll be like its own technical director and it'll make the decision when to give a close up when to cut to to yeah. follow along with you and when to cut to a website or you know it'll be the technical director in a way um, definitely possible yeah <laughs> but don't worry perfect. folks as we said earlier we are not 
AI adaptable because the bar is too high for what they're looking for. Yeah, they want good. We just they want are. the gizmo. Something. So, yeah, yeah. Ex <laughs> exactly. That's right. We want to meet Mad Magazine standards of excellence. Exactly. Okay, exactly. that's what we want. Yeah, it's cheap. Um, it's cheap. Cheap. It's cheap. cheap. Okay. Oh, here, cheap. Uh, cheap. Perfect lead in to our first gift gadget idea. A holiday shopping idea, okay? I've already done a beanie with little speakers, and then I did a beanie with an LED light, but now I have a beanie with an LED light and speakers and a microphone <laughs> to make phone calls, and the LED light has three brightnesses. And they uh -huh. removed that silly beanie. And it comes in a Christmassy <laughs> box. Okay. LED beanie hat. And let's. Uh, I knew I slit one end. <laughs> oh, there it is. I did that oh. earlier. <laughs> yes. Packaging. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? Is it going to be LED? USB C, that would be great, wouldn't it? Those controls mm -hmm. look so familiar. Yes, on the edge. enough paper. They've been used. On a and let's time. see. Uh, uh, um. C. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was surprised. This is great. All right. Now I probably know battery charge in it. Let's just double C. Double. Ch oh, okay. <laughs> So I didn't charge it. There's a little bit of power in it. I guess each time you hit it, uh, so it started bright, medium, and low, and, and the camera is balancing this bright. out a lot. Now, this should be removable. Well, you know what? This is very no. This is very oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I think so. We've seen something similar. It's the kind yeah. of deal where you can. Charge this separately from the hat. Ah. You can also, what's nice about this, you can also use this as a little flashlight. And it just it's going to be great for walking back the into the hat at night the when you have to yeah. do clean up in the All park. Right. Yeah. Let's just shut that off. See. I can also see okay. really cold running with and that. And then very see yes. a little control panel. Uh, this is the battery pack here. Actually, I was wrong. That was and one of the And then this is the uh, speaker system. There's a nice little LED panel here in the hat. The music to hat. To tell you the state of the battery <laughs> in the hat. And also right now, it's in search mode to pair to Bluetooth. When you're charging the hat via USB-C, it'll be red and it'll turn green when it's fully charged. Now, since the LED is not physically connected to the hat, uh, I'm charging it with an external uh, battery charger, and it's lit up red at the end, and I assume the same thing will happen. It will either go out or turn green when the goes, uh, LED out. light for the front of the cap is fully charged. So what charged. I'm going to do is... I'm going to we'll look at prices, and then tomorrow when I go out, I'll wear the hat and probably live do a little update on how this performed. But I like this a lot. It was, so it's $16. There's 10% off, so it comes down to under $15. And, you know, looking down here, very funny. They're different prices. Gray is twelve ninety nine. That is so cheap. Black is fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. Red. I guess it's orange. Pink. They're all fifteen nine. Some somebody doesn't like gray. Okay. Now, <laughs> to from one of, of the reviews, <laughs> beware that if you buy the two pack, first of all, in black with the two pack, you save like three cents, but. The person review it said, I bought them as gifts, and the two-pack, you get two hats, 
but only one charging cable and one instruction sheet. So if you're giving them to individual people, uh, buy them individually. And they come in a, in a kind of a nice little fancy pack here. Uh, I love, so far, I like this a lot. That I like that a lot, too. I like, this is kind of all the features that we've seen in all the hats. <laughs> yes, all, all in one. one. And then it said the phone reception was great. I mean, the, you have to answer, you know, hit answer on your phone and dial out, <clears throat> dial out on your phone. But the conversation is really great walking along. The music sounds uh, as good as you can expect in, in a $15 hat. I mean, it's not like tinny, but on the other hand, it's not, you know, bassy and full bodied. It, it gets the noise across so you can You know understand. what the songs are. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly, exactly. If it's that a song, you're like, oh, I recognize that song. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. Uh, it was better than I would have thought. Yeah, uh, it wasn't quite radio quality. Yeah, but, yeah, exa- yeah, yeah, not not transistor, ra- better than transistor quality radio. Um, uh, but $16, or if the coupon's still up there, it's under $15, uh, I think it's a, a a great idea. I already sent two out as gifts. Yeah, uh, so. that is great. So I wanted to also, uh, you sh- s- seen that LED portion, the little puck that kind of popped out and you could yes. charge it separately. I forget if it was you that I was chatting with about this, but I have heard that adding a USB-C charging port actually is really expensive for whatever reason. What The spec of USB-C adding that port can be expensive. And so that's why some people want the uh, uh, mini, like if you want the cheapest, cheapest thing, you know, mini USB is still used, or micro USB is still used an awful lot. But I've also seen this trend of just ditching the port and adding what that had, which was just a USB like stick thing. And I've seen it at one other spot, and I was wondering if this is going to become a trend. I just want to kind of talk about chat about it and yeah, point it out. Yeah, yeah. So these are, like, the cheapest, nicest uh, earbuds I've bought. Like, I actually, I bought these. These are... I have, four. yes, I have those J-Labs. Exactly. And they charge with an extra addition. And I always... And, that, and that's, that falls in under the case, It right? does. It sticks with the case. It's wired into the case permanently yes, 100% of yes. the time. And it's reversible, too, which is kind of nice. Uh, you know, you can just stick it in and it'll just start charging yeah, whichever way yeah. you do. And my thought has kind of gone to, I'm wondering if this is the cheapest way to charge something via USB is to stick a little thing on there that it, it isn't really be. USB. It's just hitting the, you know, low voltage pins yeah. to charge. And they don't need to deal with a USB-C spec. They don't have to deal with adding a part or a piece that is expensive. But here you still have USB-C for, yeah. for the phone part and the yeah. speaker part. Yeah. yeah. And I was wondering if that was just because they were like, basically, you know, the factory was like, well, we can buy these and slap it on there. We can buy these and slap it on there. So let's yeah, buy both. Yeah. No, it would have been, first of all, it's great that the flashlight's removable. Because yeah. I, I, have, I have the original beanie that I bought where it just had the light on it. And uh, I was looking for a flashlight one day and I go, wait a minute, I just take the LED out of that beanie and use it. Yeah. So by not having it wired in and rechargeable externally, I think it's a plus. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Anyway, it's just, uh, I like looking at those details, right? how they, no, how are they manufacturing yeah, yeah. this to make it even less expensive. And I've, I've seen a trend with this with the, the same thing that the LED puck had, which yeah, is having its own uh, USB on it to to charge, which is kind of cool. Yeah, no, yeah. I like that a lot too. I like I like that um, ear butt bud thing because you don't lose the cable. Yeah, it, it's built right in. It's not yeah. even um, doesn't connect at one end, so you can't lose it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree, and I still have a you know USB A floating around. Some, so many, uh, you know, I, there's plugs in the wall here that have USB-A in them, so I can just yes. shove that in there and, and it'll yeah. charge after a while. And, and it, what also made me thought of it is obviously the price. This is just such an inexpensive 
gadget for all Absolutely. for the Bluetooth and the LED and the fact that it's a beanie. You got your speakers already built in. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Pretty, pretty neat. Me too. Me too. Um, okay, another gadget you may not know about is this. In the past couple of months, I've done some space saving gadgets, you know, magnetic shelves that hooked up to your refrigerator or the side of your microwave or your computer. Then we had shelves for the bathroom that came with these long stick on strips. Now I have uh, 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 another space saving gadget. Um, so, Dennis, do you have any idea why this would be a space saving gadget? I will get a scissors here and show you what comes with it and see if you can guess what you're supposed to do with this. It catches uh, micro uh, meteorites, which saves outer space. <laughs> Not quite. Ah, dang it. Tricky, right? Yeah. Okay, got me. Ta -da! All right, so it is a, uh, and evidently it says no installation necessary, which is something I like. It is a way to have a shelf that rotates under your desk. So this would be great for your apartment because you have a, a shelf with your computer and no storage at all. So the object here, and we'll, we'll hook it up in a little while, is this computer just went off. And let me get, go down here. Okay, so it will hang on a desk like this. And then you can spin it and it'll go totally under the desk. So we're going to uh, try that out. What I liked about it is my desk is two inches thick. And this opens up to three inches. You know what? There, there has to be some. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is. A oh, okay. Relief. So you, what, what you do have to do is you do have to, to, screw it. You have to just install this part here ah. to this shelf. All right. And that's going to be easy because it's just going to be two screws that's going to go in there. And then once that hooked up, this can swing under the desk. Well, what we'll do is we will... What's the hole for? Hook it up. The hole is if you are storing like a mouse in here, you can pass the cable through here ah. or a charging cable. So that's why there's the hole. Uh, so we'll hook that up and we'll put it on my desk and we'll see how handy it is. All we had to do is put two, two screws in here to put the, hold the bracket on. Now, this desk is about two inches deep, which is why I like this, that the bracket opens so much. Oh, I have to open this more. And now, right now it's thick enough to go under. And then you tilt, you screw this up. And then you have to bring, there's another screw back here. Bring that up to the... Mm -mm -mm. Bringing the screw up. If it's anything, we are good at screwing up pretty much everything we do. <laughs> uh, mm. ah. Oh, that's kind of nice. Ah. You know what? This is great. If you have a desk... And no desk drawer. This can be very handy. Fidget pen, everybody has one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, eyeglasses. Mm. You have to be careful, though. Well, actually, it clears my knee. All right. And it was 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll have Chad go look and we'll see the current price. <laughs> Who knows? It changes every second. So. Yes, it does on Amazon. <laughs> it looks like currently it is loading, loading. $25.99. Oh my gosh, it went up a lot. Oh wait, join Prime and it's $20.79. Oh, oh, okay. There we go, $20.79. Okay. Uh, I, I like it a lot. I think that the, there is people in the chat and watching that are thinking, oh my gosh, finally. This solves my issue. I don't, I'm at work. They won't allow me to modify my desk. 
I need a shelf. Oh, that, that's interesting. That's interesting. Now, Dennis bought the two-piece set, which is, oh. I think, $30. The one and big, one the, small. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah. They, they, they ship one inside the other. So the small is like a half inch smaller than the other. <laughs> now, the thing is, I have to go look at the way I installed mine because mine works great. He, he said it's wobbly, but he only has a, a thin plywood desk. So I don't know if that's making the difference or not. Yeah. But, but the idea is, and there's a little pad, as I recall, underneath. Someone said, well, it's scratch your desk. Um, I already uh, put mine on and took it off and put it back on again when I was doing the video. And there were no marks on my desk. Uh, and evidently, a, a lot of companies make this. Yeah. I will say, I've definitely had hit or miss situations with these clamps. Mostly misses. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> with, right. the, with this style of, of clamp, it's just so many times the desk is made where it, it has, you know, a, uh, it only has like an inch of underhang Ye before it's yes, the wall. Yes, or, yes. You know, there's yes, all sorts of issues. So definitely keep, keep that in mind if, if you were looking at this is... Is there enough clearance? Is really Un think about that. Yeah, um, exactly. And very cool. I didn't uh, know that a rotating shelf, aftermarket rotating shelf, even existed. For no, no. Perfect. Well, so it, it turned out that when I did this, I thought, you know what? I need need one more shelf, uh, uh, space saving gadget. And I have an ABC news spot. So I'll be looking for the fourth thing. There are four gadgets in an ABC spot. Uh, so I have three so far. So you got to find uh, one more, one gotta... more, one more. <laughs> I, now here, I, I saw this gadget and I had to buy it because it's bizarre. Okay. okay. So here's this video. For this spot, I need a hand. A uh, hand? Uh, uh, uh. Ah. <laughs> now, what what do you think this could be, Dennis? I hate to think. <laughs> uh, a glove holder. Oh, a glove holder. Okay. Or, or, the, or to have rings, to have Dad, rings on a dressing so table. Ah. Uh, a oh, oh, that's a, a great idea. All right, so believe it or not, it a it attaches a manicure artist's. You uh, attach it to practice a hand. table. Oh, Chad, you this have it. Really no way. Even go there. You have it. No way. No and way. See. That was a complete guess. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me tighten this down. A, a, a manicure art. What did I even say? A man <laughs> you, you said you said a manicurist um, practice hand. I should have bought two of them so we could have applause. <laughs> okay, and it is. <laughs> is it the box hand? Yeah. <laughs> BT art. BT art. It is to practice yeah. making <laughs> artistic fingernails. Are you serious? Oh my god! Is that this, is so is this funny. the most bizarre? I actually thought it was just a weird and lamp. Uh, there's the uh, nails. Uh, mm, <laughs> you get. Oh, look at! Oh my. Mm. Lots of nails. You know, you I guess maybe nails you, in different sizes. you draw them. What are those slits for? The slits are for the for the fingernail. So it'll okay. hold it. This is. <laughs> yes, I guess yes. maybe it goes this way. That is. Too and funny. and this goes in the slit. Oh wow! Says, they really are. You, I, I almost wonder. Yeah, Barbara Streisand nails. Fall off like there a competition. <laughs> oh my that, god! This is one of the weirdest. That is that is one of the weirdest. <laughs> I have I have ever seen. Um, so I guess these are like I guess those are little drawings on there. Uh, 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 you know, now, now that I think of 
A lot of kids uh, like uh, to make designs on me. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, then you have to make a slit in your finger. Oh. <laughs> or unless you break these off. And, no, these are just like a study. These are just practice. Yeah, just yes, practice. It, it is. It, it's a practice yeah. kit. Let me just see here. Oh, practice makes perfect. Yeah, because right. this would go on their real nail. You can't now how much their you nail. <laughs> you got to do it but on their hand. this is good uh, if you're a practical joker to just <laughs> cut this off here. And when people say, can you give me a hand? Uh, <laughs> one of the weirdest things we've ever had. Practice hand for acrylic nails. Uh, acrylic nails included. Upgraded nail tips never fall off fingers. Um, movable nail training hand. I paid thirty bucks. Uh, uh, um, no, it's nicely priced. It got you know? three hundred forty-five ratings, four point four stars. Comes with all those uh, acrylic nails in there. Uh, I think that's bizarre. I guess you can buy it in colors. Oh, it doesn't go over to that. Oh, that looks that that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Um, okay, probably the most unusual. <laughs> it is. Bye, <laughs> bye. It was good to hit that. Come back again anytime. Bye. This is a good Halloween gadget on top. Uh, uh, someone said when we do our best and worst of. We have a good prospect for the worst of. I mean, but but you're right. If you're practicing, yeah, the same thing. I thought that exactly. In my head, I think went through the same process as you, which was why is there a big slit in that nail? What if you want to use it on a client? Right, is what I was thinking. But I I realized that either they're gonna ha they could have natural nails, which you couldn't do anything with, and you are hand painting on to their nails, so you have to practice yeah, hand yes. painting. Um, or, you know, I guess that's just the, the <laughs> practice. Yeah. And, and also, I guess you can practice filing nails. Oh, yeah. Because, or like, because, yeah, how a hand, holding a hand. Yes, was, yes. Yeah, and, and because it also said, even if you're using an electric nail uh, file, our fingernails won't fall off because of this T-slot design. That is so so it is actually yeah. a practical, oh, there, yeah. That she's using a buffing machine, even though we are spinning this at thirty-five thousand RPM, <laughs> the fingernails stay on. Oh, that is so funny. Uh, uh, yeah. I honestly think that this isn't that bad of a price. This seems like such a no. I don't think so either. And and what else did I read? Oh, aluminum bones <laughs> inside the fingers can bend the fingers at various angles. Yeah, that's so interesting. So I know that like mannequin heads when you're learning how to cut hair, that's the closest, like this is in the beautician area. Yeah. Um, and I thought that those were actually really expensive. If anyone in the chat could help me out with a bit of research, that'd be great. Um, uh, Scooter oh, X my, found oh, this. Scooter X found it. Yeah, so this has a hundred uh, of the tips of the of the nails and uh, the hand. It looks very similar, especially that. I I, I think it, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, is it a T slot design? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Look at that! Look at Half that! Half the price, uh, free shipping, or yeah, Let's free shipping. See. Yeah. And yeah. fast delivery, 13, 13 days. 13 day delivery. Wow, who knew there was such a competitive market? In yeah. Mannequin hands. Um, <laughs> that is so interesting. Ah, Lopes, Loquacious is Lopes. saying they used to be expensive, but not so much anymore. So yeah. my, I have a memory of these heads being, oh my gosh, <laughs> who said purple? There's a purple option. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Well, if you're working, uh, if you have monsters who come in. Yeah. That is so funny. The purple option. I need. Wow. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm <laughs> prepared for anything. You can come in here <laughs> green and I would, it wouldn't matter. Um, Barney's hands. <laughs> Barney's going to look great with a man. Yeah, that's funny. 
<laughs> purple is so you. This is Reverb Mark Mike. Uh, that is uh, that is. I'm impressed that uh, you got that. That is uh, the funniest thing. That is great. <laughs> That's absolutely great. So, how's your nail work now? Oh, um, uh, I can I can do designs. <laughs> wow, I am so good at doing total black with a sharpie. <gasps> I couldn't uh, even do it without the the uh, practice uh, hand. Now, how much would you pay? Here's the <laughs> oh no! Oh, I hate it. <laughs> now this is not the T slot design, so uh, no. But I liked it. It says you can buy a right and left foot. <laughs> oh my word! You may have to practice on both. That is the for those who are listening on audio. There's this is a foot version of the hand thing we just looked at. Who that is a, that is like a fear I didn't know I had. Like there's a phobia bubbling up in me that I didn't know was God, there. God, no, that is <laughs> awful, awful. <laughs> With that, let's get out of this please, place. Yeah, please, Move on. Let's go to Dad's. You know you don't need, need it. it. But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Now in the Crappy Corner. Sorry, I'm trying to finish. Ah, there we go. Uh, we got a few gadgets. Not one, not two, but three different gadgets. One of them has been sitting on the table the whole time um, to cover because I went to five below, and so I oh thought I'd, God, okay. I'd buy a haul, but each gadget kind of deserved its own time. So we, we have uh, quite a lot to look at, but uh, here is the Crappy Corner. This month's Crappy Corner theme is New Year's resolution gadgets. So I was trying to think of what some good resolutions are, and I was kind of feeling New Year, new me. Maybe I should focus on my mental health a bit more than just only focusing on physical health. So we're trying to calm down and relax with this gadget. So I thought that I would head to Five Below because they typically have a lot of things kind of in this category. And so I found a few Five Below gadgets and so we can take a look at, uh, at them all right now. Starting off the main event, this is a candle making kit. And as you can see, this is all about the, uh, the theme that we're going for, good vibes only includes calming aromas and colorants and you can even see melt pour and restore your mind this is exactly what we want we want you to feel calm at the end of uh, burning your candle so we're going to be making this <laughs> we're also going to be taking a look at the sunset projection lamp uh, these were popular uh, a while back uh, but they were sold for very inexpensively and uh, this is supposed to kind of brighten your mood with seeming like a sunset or more like sunlight inspired light. Uh, and then finally, we, I needed something to point this light at. And so we're going a little bit away from the chill vibes to the disco vibes. So I got a disco ball too, because it was only $5 and it looks really, really cool. So we're going to be setting all this up today uh, and it should give us, uh, uh, it should really lift our spirits. That's the hope. So let's take a look at the candle making kit first. Opening this up, there's a lot in here. You have enough... Uh, supplies to make two candle tins. I've actually gone ahead and already read the instructions. And basically we're gonna take these wax chips that they provide, we're gonna melt this down inside of the microwave, use our little measuring cup to measure up um, our, they, it comes with a vanilla scent and a lavender scent, as well as a pink color. So you can add the pink color in there, you get a little stir stick to help uh, with the melting and the mixing. You also have stickers so that you can actually like make your candles more professional and so you can kind of get a good idea of what this is going to look like. That sticker would go on the edge of the tin and then they also include not only the tins but stickers at the bottom of those for the tins as well. So a lot of stuff including wicks and, and whatnot. So the first step is for me to melt these wax chips in the microwave. They mention it only takes two minutes in the microwave. You give it a stir, one extra minute in the microwave. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that off camera. Okay, so just back from the microwave, all of our wax is melted up. 
Uh, the instructions said that this would take about three minutes, and it took me way, way longer. It was in the microwave for a good, like, ten minutes uh, with the same amount of stirring. Lots of stirring. It was really difficult to get all of the wax chips uh, broken up. So that's uh, what we have. The next step is to fill that to the 30 milliliter mark. Uh, it mentions there's 25, there's 50, so I'm guessing that second one right there is where we gotta go. I'm confused because these tins look way larger than 30 milliliters, but that's what the instructions are saying to do. So we're gonna take our wax and carefully transfer it over to this to the 30 milliliter, Ooh, a little bit further. Okay, that's fine. Now we get to choose our scent and our coloring agent. We're gonna use lavender for this. It mentions just do whatever you want, you know, whatever your heart desires. Um, I wish it would have said like one drop or half the bottle, like I have no idea. I'm gonna add five drops. I'm gonna add 10 drops. I have no idea if I'm going overboard or not. Uh, same thing with the coloring. They didn't mention anywhere to start. So I'm just gonna add some pink coloring. Pink is the only color you get. Okay, we added five oh, drops there. Let me grab Bobby my little can't. stir stick. Stir this up. See, that's not a lot of coloring. So we're gonna add just a, a big old, a, helping, a healthy squirt of it, honestly. There we go, and that's a nice pink color. Now, I already added a little bit of wax and then added my wick. Now, in the instructions, it mentions hot glue. We're not doing that. Uh, okay, now we're gonna take our 30 milliliters of candle and pour it in there. And that is not a lot at all. That is very little, that's not a big candle. <laughs> that's a tiny candle. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna. We're gonna wing it from now on. Know that the instructions mention that that's as much candle as you get. We're just gonna go crazy. We're gonna add in some extra wax just to make this seem kind of normal. And then I'm also just gonna give this a healthy squirt. You know what? We're just going completely ham. Who knows? Maybe this is gonna be too much lavender. And uh, another squirt of pink. Let's make this very pink. <laughs> now I'm gonna stir this from within the candle. And it mentions that it'll take about 30 minutes to set this up. So uh, it's gonna take 30 minutes to dry. I may have to leave my stir stick in there to get my wick to, to hold up there. Uh, the next one, let's, let's go for the next one. It's gonna be a vanilla scent. Uh, and I'll actually, I'll probably just make this one, uh, just to not make this video super duper long. Uh, I may make this one off camera. This is how I'm attaching the wick. It didn't mention this in the instructions, but honestly, I feel like my own logic is a bit smarter than the instructions. Uh, oh, in this that's great. Instance. Yeah, that's excellent. So I'm going to set up the uh, vanilla one, and we'll be right back. In the meantime, uh, as we wait for those to cool just a bit before we add our stickers, uh, we are going to add our new sunset projection lamp to the room. And this, I assume, is going to be pretty straightforward. Oh, 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 wow. So these lamps, um, one of the things that was uh, so fun about them is they really create kind of a perfect, harsh light. Very similar to how the sun is, right? There's like, you know, the sun would be the perfect thing to make like shadow puppets against because it's just such a harsh, specular light. And uh, that's what these do, but of course they have really fun colors. I saw three different colors there at Five Below. There was one that was very amber, one that had like an amber and a blue, and then this one, which has this blue sort of into purple, into pink, into like a orange around uh, the, the corner. Now what I was thinking was this would look great on a disco ball because it's gonna be really harsh, it's gonna be really specular, it's gonna be really straight light, and this is the exact shape of a ball. Now I'm not sure if I can get the spacing right where it'll exactly perfectly hit the disco ball, but that was my thought was this could be the perfect disco ball light, like a spotlight, basically. So uh, another thing that I liked is I was checking out a lot of the other LEDs in the area and uh, of that so of the store, and a lot of them were AA powered, and this one is USB powered. It does not come with a brick, so you have to provide your own brick, but I just grabbed an old Apple one, and now this can plug into the wall permanently without the use of replacing all of uh, the batteries all the time. It has a little button. 
in line on this cord. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, oh man. The lights inside of the Gizwiz Studio may be a bit bright. Wow, it does have this interesting articulating, is this just friction? Yeah, it's just friction there, and then it will go left and right too, but this is like a tripod where you can uh, you can kind of lock it down twice, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so it's on, it's not that bright, but I can turn off the studio lights. So let me try that. I just turned off the television and all the studio lights, and so now we have this sort of Of course, lamp. this is on a, and a this black very fabric. specular sort of light. It's very harsh, very straight. I thought, now this is a black wall, so obviously not the best, but maybe if I uh, move it over, Here's what it would look like on a uh, white wall. This is about three feet away from the wall. And then this would be about mm, five feet, seven feet, somewhere in there. So you can see that it gets, uh, it gets pretty good. Now, we, I really need the lights off for this uh, to look like this. But my thought was how would this look <laughs> on a disco ball. If I go, oh man, getting this just perfectly centered is gonna be difficult, but there we go. It's kind of disco-y, almost maybe from the bottom. Cool little look. It's not the part, it's not exactly what I wanted. I'll be honest, this is uh, not exactly what I wanted, but still, it looks pretty good. For five bucks, can't go wrong. Maybe I could use this in the studio. Hello. How you doing, Gizwizzers? Uh, okay, so uh, that's the uh, sunset light, the disco ball, and uh, let's just wait a moment for the candles uh, to all get dry. Okay, so it's been over 30 minutes now, and this is what the candles look like. Now, weirdly, both of them, the wax really, really dipped in there. Uh, I don't know why, but as they cooled, I guess the wax got smaller in size, and so they've really created these big divots in the candle. Now the next step would be to add these stickers. So I'll do that on one of them. These stickers are really folded up. Uh-oh, and looks like I'm messing them all up. But you could just apply a sticker to the edge of your tin if you wanted to. Uh, and then they also come with other stickers for the top. Now, it would cover up the window, which I kind of wanted to keep that, so I'm not going to add that last sticker. The final thing is to see what do they smell like. So I was going to light one. This should be the lavender candle. So I'm going to light this and let it burn for a little while to see if I enjoy the smell, and we'll check back. Okay, it's been mm, 20, almost 30 minutes, and uh, this is as far as we got. It just went out. I watched it go out. I actually accidentally moved it and it went out. So what's happening is the wick, I guess, is leaning over. And so it's just not, it's just not staying lit. So I would suggest uh, make sure that your wick really stays in one spot. Um, I don't really smell anything. And uh, <laughs> uh, I, my advice, if you love this and want to get it, my advice would be uh, really fill this thing all the way up to the top. I still have so much leftover wax that I could have used. Uh, my other advice is just to use these completely because uh, it seems uh, it seems like I'm not really getting a lot of scent. Obviously, it hasn't burned that much. Um, but that's what I would suggest. Fill it all the way up to the top. Don't worry about uh, it getting too tall. Um, and then use basically all of these bottles. This has been a fun project. This has been a fun little thing to do. I kind of wish that there was more colors than just pink, but at only five bucks, uh, not that uh, not that bad of a little project. So now, this I hope the, the mood should be set. The, the candle is burning. We can turn the light on. There we go, we got the disco ball. Hopefully, 2024 is going to have a more zen me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, I, I lit the, that candle again. I still don't smell anything. This one has been uh, on for a very long time. Um, and yeah, and I'm seeing lots of people in the, in the <laughs> chat uh, kind of giving their opinions. And yeah, the wax is just kind of a weird buildup on the side. And so it kind of dips down on the... It's not the perfect situation. There may be some techniques uh, to make that better. For $5, though, it's hard to find oh, a amazing. candle. Oh, amazing. 
Oh, it's hard yeah. to find a candle for five bucks. Just saying. Um, and it was a very, very fun project. So uh, uh, I, had, I had honestly just a ton of fun with it. Um, so here is the amazing candle making kit. Uh, this is the one uh, that I used. Only five dollars. And um, I would, like I said, I would use all of the oil. I would just use all the color. Like just don't hold back for those two. Just uh, use everything that they, they gave you. Um, also, that dis the disco ball is now here in, all, in the um, set. Five bucks for that too. I can't believe a mirror ball is only five dollars. That seems like a very, very good price. And then finally, the uh, projection lamp, which you had covered something so similar, if not this exact. Oh, I covered that. Th was yeah. it this color? Even? Uh, I bought them all. Oh, there you go. So yeah. I wanted to see and, if it could and, be and a good spotlight. And yeah, you see the, the reddish look on Alfred behind me over the mad sign? Ah, it is like a spotlight that, back there. That is uh, one of the sunset lights slightly yeah. off camera all the way on the left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it does not work on a, uh, well on a mirrored ball. I tried that too. <sighs> but no, I have, I have one in my back I should have asked apartment. your advice. I should have consulted. No, that's a, I know. <laughs> I have one in my back apartment in my uh, shining on the window frame. So it's always sunny in my back apartment. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I won the, the one um, thing that I like is that I, mine, I can actually disassemble. You can just like oh. <laughs> pull it apart. <laughs> this is the the lens part of it. Oh my goodness! That adds the color, and then, or I guess the color part of it, and then you have the lens right here too. I don't know if this was like intended to just pull apart, but it is kind of cool. Uh, that mine didn't. Mine did not fall apart. That you can just do that, mm -hmm. and now I you know put it back together. It's working just fine, um, which. Uh, anyway, I find pretty cool. So anyway, that was my five below haul. Thanks for <laughs> sticking with the long <laughs> video. And uh, these uh, the candles are... Uh, so I feel like if the wax worked out, it would have been... You know, if you had to do a project with kids, that would be great fun. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And also, they really did kind of do their purpose. I had so much fun making them. It took like an, two hours to make. Worth $5. It was, it was worth it. Uh, so there you go. Check out your local Five Below for your Zen gadgets uh, <laughs> for the new year. With that, well, you have some explaining to do, Dickie D, in <laughs> yes. the Gadget Warehouse! They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Um, okay, so I was putting the show together and I had a warehouse video. And I, I usually don't look at the videos. I'll look at the first two minutes to make sure that they're in horizontal format and I can hear the person. But then I, I reread the email and realized that the person had the gadget in the video in the past, but didn't no longer had it and had sent in someone else's video from YouTube. And I figured, you know, that's really not the way the warehouse things works. And I didn't want someone to say, well, why are you using my video on <laughs> yeah. your show? Well, I found this uh, other video too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you're sending in videos, it should be your video of your gadget. But I was about to buy another gadget. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy this, make a video for the show, and then I'll immediately put it to, into the warehouse because there's no use for this. And I thought, well, wait a minute. I'll just talk about that gadget that was going to be in the warehouse, and I'll save myself between 60 and 80 bucks. You may think this is an amazing gadget. What I'm hoping is when we show this gadget, somebody who has a lot of kids and has a great outdoor display is going to say, oh my God, I need this and you'll buy it. And then you can make a video <laughs> and then <laughs> send it this to us. Our, yes. yes. <laughs> yes. So, so, so go to Amazon and all right, wow. who knew 
a snow machine oh. and there's a little video uh off there on yeah so take a look at this oh my gosh yes i'm going crazy yes i'm so, thinking huh. i need this and so I, i've learned a thing or two moving to florida and being around the theme park stuff um I had, they, almost everywhere has this artificial snow. And they, I, all the locals have been calling it a specific word, snope. I was like, why snow. is everyone calling the artificial snow I've been seeing snope? Yes. Snope, doesn't make sense. And I'm thinking it's artificial snow, it's ice. It's just, it's, they've just frozen. Uh, 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 uh. It's soap. That's it's so that's when i read that i thought whoa uh, i was gonna have it here in the studio for new year's eve <laughs> i would have had soap everywhere everywhere <laughs> everywhere and also the company even says this is for outdoor use only uh, and and people are saying i see your hesitation now yes that it is very very loud so most reviews said for outdoor displays it's ideal someone said i we were going to sing christmas carols with this <laughs> you you won't you won't hear silent night because all you'll hear is the machine um so i yeah i i didn't i did not buy it and also I thought this this is another reason I didn't buy it. At the bottom of this wonderful display showing all these wonderful effects, it says, note, the nozzle is a piece of cloth or fabric. It's not plastic. The cloth nozzle was not supposed to be removed. Oh. The description in the, in the user's manual is printed wrong. When you receive oh your snowflake God. machine, we will provide technical support to get your issues solved. And I'm that thinking, wait, wait a minute. That is ridiculous. They wait know that the user manual is misprinted and what they're doing is just updating the Amazon page. Yeah, yeah. And it's expensive. It's yeah. um, 80, uh, 83 is this one. Yeah. Um, it's. I think it's that fan because it really does have to move the air just so a fast. A lot, yes. But it's kind of clever that it does look like snow. Oh, exactly like snow. Yeah. Yeah, but, totally. Yeah, 80, 84 bucks. So I figured it's way easier to talk about it as a where It would be in the warehouse. I would have no once. Yeah, if I had not be able read to use that it. full. Yes, if I had not read that full description. <laughs> So you, that's a yeah. good idea of how loud it is. They had yeah. it quiet. And, oh, there's the cloth. That's funny. Oh. Sounds like a really loud vacuum is what it seems yes. like. I mean, the effect is pretty, I mean, if you have an outdoor display. Yeah. And that's um, outputting and a are, lot of like stuff. coming up the driveway, um, this will be pretty neat. Oh, my gosh, look <laughs> at them. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool effect. Must be used outdoors. Definitely not an indoor gadget. <laughs> and you, everything will be covered with soap. Be aware of that. Okay. It's a great way to wash your uh, driveway. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that is a cool warehouse. Okay, well, uh, when well, people get their own video, videos. So we need one really quick, okay? Especially if you haven't sent in a video before. Uh, any kind of a gadget. And one to three minutes, uh, horizontal format. You can be in it if you want, or just talk over the uh, demonstration of your gadget and put it up on YouTube. When you upload, there's a drop down menu, click unlisted, and then only the people with the URL will be able to see it. Send us that URL, it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. And old gadgets, new gadgets, we especially love old tech gadgets you have in the attic, in the basement, in the closet that were big deal ones and now are nothing, <laughs> but you paid a lot of money. Uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. Get one in by next Thursday, by next Wednesday, actually. 
Do it. That'd be great. With that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, a, a letter writer, I believe, is in chat. It's uh, from Sims to Rachel. Woohoo! With some very interesting stuff. Okay. Hi, guys. You mentioned Timu a couple of times. I want to give you my two cents. It's pronounced Timu. Timu. Uh, Timu. According to their website, Timu. I've bought a lot of stuff from Timu. Mostly craft supplies, hair accessories, and enamel pins. A lot of times to get cheap per item prices on craft supplies elsewhere, you have to buy a bundle. But Timu lets you buy smaller quantities at low prices so you don't end up with stuff you don't want. There's a $10 order minimum, but free shipping always um, it says it's, it, it's, it claims to be for a limited time, but I have never been charged for it. Also, if your order is late, they credit you $5 in your account. I had this happen just once. Uh, and that brings me to electronics. I would not buy any electronics from them. <laughs> all, all the bad reviews I have seen have been bait and switch sort of thing so if it seems too good to be true it probably is even if they don't claim to be the brand name i don't trust their super cheap electronics uh it's not the, the site for everyone but i have been banned from aliexpress i think because <laughs> i have i have had too many orders never show up all right another advantage is that most of their orders arrive in seven to 10 days. That is a huge advantage over AliExpress. Yeah. <laughs> that is so Rachel, funny. Rachel, I can't believe it. Rachel, Sims to Rachel. Yeah, Sims to Rachel's chat. here. That's, That's too great. funny. Yep, she's banned, she says. <laughs> and damn proud of it. I <laughs> There's some weird stuff. I don't, I assume, you have to assume everything on there is... Nothing is official. Everything is uh, the black market version of. <laughs> oh yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, the I, thing I was you're reading, looking at. Yes, when I was reading about a watch, I was looking at. Uh, they said the the picture is like a watch from another website. Yeah, and what you get is a really terrible knockoff of what's supposed to be in the photo. I mean, that's a great suggestion, is things that kind of can't be faked, like craft supplies, like yarn. Yes. You know, you buy yeah. two bundles of yarn. You know, that's a great thing to get there. Cloth, fabric, like that sort of thing is a, uh, that's a great thing to keep in mind. Um, yeah. Like I remember, that, that, that I've been can't... to like one, uh, one or two like sketchy uh, like grocery stores, you know, and I'm like, Okay, I may not buy the produce from here, but at least I can buy canned goods. Yes, <laughs> and that's how I... we, we, in a supermarket like that. Also, when you buy yarn and nail polish, uh, there's no way for them to spy on you through the nail polish. Exactly. Where if I'm, not gonna, some... I'm not going to plug the nail polish into my computer, which is <laughs> that's, really good. That's right. <laughs> that's so great. Timu. 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 Um, that is awesome. Thank you so much, Sims to Rachel, for letting us Rachel, know your... Uh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, beads. Beads is a gr great one. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, oh, how, so how's much. How's your poll going? Send Chad and Josh our oh. producer to CES. Uh, yeah, let's check in. Let's see. I haven't actually looked at it since uh, last week. Oh my gosh, we've got 10% of the way there. That is Oh fantastic. my gosh, okay. That is awesome. Thank y'all so much for helping out with the CES goal. Um, and thank you so much for the, for the uh, Patreon support. Uh, patrons, oh. you guys support us every week. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your continued generosity. If you like the show, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz. Or head to our website, gizwiz.tv. There... 
there's a few ways to give us a tip, help us out, and uh, show your appreciation. You can go to the Patreon tab, find the Patreon. There's a PayPal link on that website. But if you're gonna do that, actually right now, I'd encourage you to help support uh, the CES drive. Uh, CES is uh, getting more and more expensive, and uh, we're asking for the same amount as last year uh, to get us there. That would help out so, so, so much. Uh, obviously, y'all, if you've been watching the show for any amount of time, you probably know that CES is the place to see gadgets and to really get hands-on and, and get some great demos. So uh, that'll it, hopefully this year will be just as good as the previous years. Um, so if you would like to support, we would love it if you head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. On the top, there is a tab for the CES 2024 fundraiser. Uh, click that right there, and uh, we're using coffee uh, to uh, get your support, so that would be fantastic. You get to see it update live, which is always kind of fun, too. So thank you all. However you give back, I just want to say again, thank oh, you my, yes, so thank you. much. This is so generosity. great that we that we can do this and <sighs> just show AI we can't be duplicated. <laughs> AI, you can't make something this crappy, okay? Exactly. This is only humans can do this. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, and head on over to gizwiz.tv if you want to watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Our website will update with the live stream. It'll also update with Gizfiz, which happens uh, just the day before the Gizwiz at 8.30 Pacific, and 4.30. 5.30. 5.30. No, 8.30, 5.30. 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific right. um, at uh, gizwiz.tv if you want to check that out there too. Uh, and all of our previous episodes are there, plus links to find us so that you can subscribe and you never miss an episode. So I uh, really encourage you all to do that uh, if we're live and you're around because chat room fantastic group of people. You can join them and chat along with us live as we record the show. Gizwiz.biz is Dickie D's website where he writes articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on the show. I remember that zebra. Whoa, that was a crazy, crazy episode. A live zebra. <laughs> yeah. What a, what a gadget. Uh, yeah. So you got to go check that one out next. Uh, while you're there at Gizwiz.biz, play What the Heck Is It? We're about halfway through December, so we're only about Half a month away from yeah, and go back there because I just put up <gasps> what their Ooh. magazine they're playing for. The cover, your is the magazine. January February issue of Mad, ah. and Alfred. It, those big billboards usually say your ad here, but Alfred has changed it into your Mad here. I like it. So that's what you're playing for, and I think because of the holidays, there are far fewer entries. So your Ooh. chances of winning are much better. What the heck is it? Ah. Either the real answer or we like it better when you come up with a crazy, stupid thing it could be. <laughs> I know what this one is. Okay, uh, yes. This is, they, they, re they looked at the market. They were aiming for the most basic users. This is the revolutionary one button remote. It'll control your volume, control the channel, wow. control the power of your TV randomly. It's just one button. You just hit it <laughs> until you get what you want and you'll be happy once it actually does it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It I may take you a thousand times to get what you want, but it's only one button. Only one button, so simple. So you can't get simpler <laughs> than one button. So if you think you know what this is, get a guess in gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get guessing, like Giddy Giddy said. Sounds like you got a good chance. So, so get over there yep. and uh, get, your, get your guesses in. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>